guys? How you going? It's the Down with BKR Sport. We are here for an absolutely massive video today that I'm so excited for. We have done one of these style videos before, but it was back when COVID was happening and we kind of had no other videos to go with because there was no rugby league. I thought it's actually a really good idea to bring it back here and absolutely smack out a current player NRL draft, which means that we're going to be going over all the players my Myself and three other content creators, and we're going to be selecting the best team we possibly can and competing against each other as well. So it kind of creates that interesting um, discussion point. Obviously, we all have different thought processes, different perspectives, and different, I guess, biases. You know, I'm a Titans fan. I've got to take the Brim Dog Millionaire at some point. But, you know, obviously, it's a great series where we get to get our minds back into that NRL spirit. And, uh, yeah, really, really exciting. But obviously, uh, I do have to go over the, uh, the people that we do have here today, and we'll start off with the man who will be going first in the draft which means he will get the first pick overall and is the rugby league guru how are we doing champion i'm doing well mate i had a random stats guy sent me a stats today that uh i'm actually undefeated on this channel mate so oh. uh <laughs> i can't remember are there fake accounts oh. out there for me is that are there unbelievable i bet so just before we start up here i mentioned that there's only one draft that i've lost because we did an individual team one one v one and uh, I had the Guru one for the Storm one. And it was literally the only one. I, my God, of course he brings that up, man. Unbelievable. But obviously, if you guys don't know uh, who the Rugby League Guru is, we'd like to obviously let everyone know uh, what you do in the community. Yeah, uh, Rugby League Guru, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you'll find me. Rugby League Guru podcast, uh, Beers and Break Even, Super Coach Show. Uh, we cover just about everything we possibly can. So anything footy, you'll find us there. Anything footy, and you can't get too much footy, man. It's just, it's it's starting to rock and roll now. We're in the preseason, and my God, it's going to be an exciting year. Next up here, we go into the man with the pick number two. As you can tell, it's not me yet. I'm falling down that draft order like crazy. But number two, we do get to the random scats, random scats guy, random stats guy. How we doing, man? Mate, doing really well. Looking forward to this draft, mate. As long as I have a better team than Guru, that's all I care about tonight. <laughs> I'm at, I'll give some players to you and Clarkie, but uh, as long as I beat Guru here, mate, that's all I'm here for. All right. Well, listen, I'll take it. You know, I'll take uh, <laughs> I'll take as much as I can, bro. Leave Tino for me. That's all I'll say. We're just going to leave Tino for me here. But obviously, you're going to be... Uh, which uh, team maker did we do? We did the front row forwards, didn't we? Uh, let everyone know what uh, you do in the community, obviously, for the NRL. Yeah, absolutely. As the name, name suggests, random stats guy. Basically, all the random stats from the NRL um, usually go round by round. It does include a few betting predictions as well. Um, so check me out. Basically, anything to do with footy is guru. Anything to do with stats is me. There you go. Yeah, you do have some random stats. But again, like I mentioned, that front row's team maker, which I think has already come out by now, uh, you need more Titans positivity. we got to do it. <laughs> I, I keep doing it every week. I'll, I, and I will keep pushing you every week for at least some Titans positivity. But speaking of the Titans here, we do have... Actually, well, I guess speaking of Titans, I will be going in third pick. If you don't know me, well, you're currently on the channel, so you probably should. Um, <laughs> but uh, obviously, we do create content for all the streams here uh, with, throughout the season, plus the, the vlogs. I'll be at every single Titans game this season. Really looking forward to that. Uh, but I'm not the only Titans fan here. It is number fourth pick. It is going to be going to the Clarkies Rugby League column. How are we doing, man? G'day. What a uh, what an absolute pleasure for the viewers to have both Titans fans in the same video. All two of us. <laughs> right, yeah, all two of us. <laughs> Listen, man, we, we, we do what we can. All right, we do what we can. I still haven't forgiven uh, Clarkie for putting David Fafita not in the uh, at least tier two of his second row as uh, tier list there. But, uh, man, obviously let everyone know uh, what you do if they aren't aware. Yeah, I've covered footy for about nine years now. Games, scores, uh, anything that's interesting, news throughout the week, a uh, pretty broad um, sort of coverage of the NRL there for about nine, ne uh, nine years now and uh, at Clarkie's RL column pretty much all over social media. There we go. See, we're, we're all rocking and rolling. We all know a thing or two about a thing or two. And it's going to get interesting because, we've, like I said, we've all got different perspectives and it's going to get very, very hectic as we go through 1 to 17 of our best lineup. But let's get into the rules just before we do start here. Number one rule, obviously, we'll be going in a snake draft. So uh, Nathan from the Rugby League Guru will be going first. Then Nathan from the Rem Stats Guy, myself, and then Clarky, And then it'll be going back the same order. So Clarky, myself, Rem Stats Guy, and then Guru, and then... And it'll go around the other way again. Uh, once a player does come off the list, you cannot select them. So that's why we've got our best uh, selected here whilst, you know, obviously um, doing our best to, to compete with everybody else. 
Um, there is not a time limit. We've not got a time limit, but just don't be a Muppet. Don't be, you know, three hours long in regards to selecting, but it does get very hard. Now, a thing that I want to say for you guys at home, it, this isn't easy. For you guys at home, it's, you can chill. There's no pressure and whatnot. Once you get to a point where people are taking, you know, plays that you thought of and you have to adjust your whole game plan, it gets pretty crazy. So do you understand if you've got a different thought process and perspective, chuck into the comments section. We cannot wait to hear it. And I'm pretty certain that, that is, uh, that's everything to do here. But yeah, 1 through 17 plus coach. You can select whoever you want, whenever you want. And I think it is time to uh, start the craziness. It's time to start the craziness. And uh, obviously, the first person that does come off the ranks here will be the guru, mate. Who are we selecting with the first pick? Mate, I've been very lucky. This is my second draft of the year. I've got my home league for Supercoast Draft. I've got pick one there as well. So uh, I'm going to stick to my trend in every other comp. Nathan Cleary, number yeah. one in halfback for me, mate. I think that was always going to be the go there, man. And also for everyone, I am writing it down, so I'm not even going to be looking up there half the time. But yeah, Guru's going with uh, Nathan Cleary there. That uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. All right, Ram Stats guy, you're up. I feel like it was one or two players that you got to go with first. Guru taking Cleary. I'm going to take James Tedesco here. 82 try involvements in the last 65 games. Averages seven tackle breaks uh, per game as well. Average 200 meters plus uh, and three-time daily M fullback of the year. But I don't think I need to justify that selection. Yeah, look, I don't think so at all, man. And, uh, you know, it's uh, these, there's going to be some really big players coming off early here. And uh, I'm going to be going next up here with Cameron Munster into my 5'8 role. I think that's just a, a pretty self-explanatory one there. I don't think that the 5'8 role in the spine is as uh, has as much depth as a lot of other positions there. So I'm going to lock up uh, that number six and uh, happy days. Clarky, you're up next. I am going to go because I've got, I've got two picks here. You do have two picks, yep. The first one I want to go is Harry Grant at hooker. I'm going to get him out of the way there nice and early. And Joey Manu in the centres. Again, I'm, 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 I'm not going to justify those picks. I think they're, they're pretty self-explanatory, right? <laughs> Absolutely, man. All right, so Joey Manu into the centre there with Harry Grant. And now I'm back onto the table there. Um, oh, Joey Manu came off a, a, a little bit early for me. I think that uh, that's a good pick, though. It's definitely a good pick. But I'm going to be looking now towards, geez, where do I go now? I could go, you know what? I'm actually going to go bang here pretty early here. I'm actually going to go Isaiah Yo into the lock. Isaiah Yo, um, absolutely incredible. He plays Australia, plays New South Wales, plays in back-to-back premierships. I just think I've got to take him straight away. There we go. All right. Uh, we've got Ram Sasko up next. Yeah, I better lock up my spine here, especially with Clarkie taking out Harry Grant. So I'm going to take Damien Cook here. Thought he was really unlucky not to make the Australian side. Averaged about 45 tackles uh, last year as well. Um, 26 assists across his last three seasons. Um, I think obviously out of attack, he's unbelievable for the Rabbitohs. So thought I'd not nail down one of the two top hookers in the game. Absolutely. All right. Guru, you're up. Boys, you're making it too easy. Uh, I'm going to take Tommy <laughs> Turbo at fullback. Yep. <laughs> and, and I'm going to fist one of you and take Latrell Mitchell at centre. <laughs> I knew that was coming the entire time, bro. Don't you worry. I, I... <laughs> that is, that's a really good play, though. It is. Um, that is a really good play. So Tommy Dubois and, and Trell Mitt. All right. Um, Satsuka, you're up. Very, uh, very nice picks there, Guru. I'm going to take Cody Walker at number six, 115, 115 try involvements in his last 73 games, 40 offloads, a great attacking 5-8 to put in. Great choice. That is a fantastic choice there. All right, so now I'm up here. Um, I still think, listen, listen, Mr. Guru, I do think there's still a pretty good fullback that is on the table here uh, that I'm going to have to... Uh, look... Do I get scared? Do I get terrified and, and, and play the game, play the Guru's game? I don't know about that. But in the same sense, I think if I didn't do it, that uh, the, the Clark is going to take him next. I'm going to have to go with the little mullet man, little puppy, little mullet man, little puppy. I'm going to go with Ryan Puppenhausen here into my fullback role. Clark, you're up. That was absolutely who I was looking to go there. And that does leave a little bit of a shortage for fullbacks. Uh, at the moment, I'm going off my pyramids, which have uh, been highly critiqued. So maybe not the, <laughs> the best, maybe not the best ones to be going off. But... Even I critiqued it just before on this uh, video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Head noise um, central over there. Good God. Yeah, yep. The only tier two fullback that uh, um that that's left that I've got on my pyramid there is um Dylan Edwards. So I am getting a little bit rattled here with with the elite fullbacks running out. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, Dylan Edwards. All right, still on Edwards. Two-time premiership winner. You take him. You take him. 
Absolutely. All right, Dylan, everything you're up again. Crap. Uh, I'm up again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was Mike's really still prepared on. for that. <laughs> yep. Um, let's go with a forward. Let's go with Joseph Tarpany at prop. Okay. And there's 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 three there's three props in particular which I almost feel like they're all sort of equal on the same sort of level there. But I'll go Joseph Tarpany just ahead of the other two. Yeah, def- no, it definitely makes sense there. Uh, I think that uh, I think there's only one real kind of uh, guaranteed 100 percent bang for buck hooker right now. That I think there's a top three. It's Harry Grant, Damian Cook, and then I have to go with Happy Cottesau here. I'm going to have to go Happy Cottesau, who's obviously gone to the Tigers. Um, I just feel like there's just that top three, and then yeah, look, there just still is definitely great hookers underneath that, but you know that pretty much locks up most of my spine, well, except for the uh, except for the seven. And um, there we go, Happy Cottesau is into my team. We go to the Ram Saskatchewan. Beautiful. I might uh, lock up Cam Murray there at lock, uh, averaging 40 tackles, 15 runs per game, 120 average metres. An absolute weapon for South Sydney. And uh, just looking at it now, my spine's looking very, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, Myrtle and green or what? what, what is it? Red and, uh, red and green. Uh, I'll, do, looking, I'll stick to the basic colours. It's, it's looking okay. It's no big house sport, but it's, uh, <laughs> no, it's looking pretty good there. All right, Guru, you got two spots. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit rogue here. I'm going to pick my 5-8. I'm going to play Nico Hines at 6 with Cleary oh, there. Oh. All right. That's interesting. I, I don't mind it, though. I don't, I don't mind it, though. But, yeah, no, that was that's a bit left field, but I like it. And you got another um, one. And I'm also going to go for uh, Tao Malolo. I'm going to play him in the front row, though. Ooh. Okay. Bing, bang. Couple of uh, couple of ones I don't think many would have expected there in the – in those positions, um, but definitely two big boppers of the absolute game. Um, all right, uh, Sats guy, you're up. Uh, I'm going to take Payne Haas here at prop, uh, oh, averaging you... 163 meters. <laughs> One of the best props in the game. I, I can't believe he hasn't been taken. Uh, yeah, that's because he's taken next. tackles as well. Yeah, that's because yeah, yeah. I was yeah. taking him next. Oh, you... <laughs> uh, too bad, too sad, mate. I, I know another front row that you should take uh, that I'm sure is on your mind right now. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm still going front row here. Don't you worry, son. Uh, Payne Us is gone. Well, guess what? It's Pino Faso Malawi, baby. Go to the Titans. Up at the boys. Tino Faso Malawi. Get off there. Clarky, you can't have him. I've slapped him up, and that is for sure. There we go. Tino Faso Malawi is off. Well, I'm going to keep the props trend going and go with James Fisher-Harris. Mm-hmm. He was uh, one of the three that I was referring to before. Payne Haas already snatched up there. Um, and I'm getting a little bit rattled because I don't have a half yet. So I'm probably looking at, with Cleary gone and Nico Hines, probably my next best option there is probably Jerome Hughes. So I'll lock him in. Jerome Hughes. Yep. All right. Hammond, I thought I was safe not choosing him at halfback for a while, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> he did fly under the radar for a fair bit, though. He did, he did. He, he definitely... Oh, that's right. I've got to cross off and go highs too because uh, the guru is sneaking. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. So where do I go now? Where do I go now? Um, no one's taken any... Uh, I could... <laughs> I was thinking of doing something pretty, pretty crazy. I was thinking, you know what? You know what? I'm going to go... I'm going to uh, take a... Take one that... Oh no! I'll leave him for the Rams stats guy. I'll be nice. I'll go. I'm going to go Billy Ami kick out here in the back row. I'm going to go Billy Ami kick out. Could have easily gone for one of my boys, but I'm going to take Billy Ami kick out. Obviously, um, is always just up there for uh, one of the best in the game in regards to back rowers. And uh, I slap him down. Bit of fast pace. Boom, boom, right in your face. Toss of Vitti. Let's go. All right, uh, Rams stats guy, you're up. Easy. I'm going to jump on him quickly now. Here, Brian Toto at wing, uh, averaging 90. Post contact meters in 2021, second for that stat in 2020, mate. He's an absolute meter eater and can finish. He definitely can finish. He's bloody fantastic, that guy. And also, absolutely pumped off uh, your number six. Um, he pumped off your number six in the uh, prelim last year. All right, uh, Guru, you got two spots. Uh, I was going to leave this guy a little bit later, but uh, I think I might just take him now. I think you've all slept on a classy hooker. I'm going to take Benny Hunt at nine. Oh, I was actually looking at him for my seven, but said, yeah, yeah, okay. He's just going to go steal him in nine. Fair enough. I'm going to take uh, Ben Hunt at nine. And then with my other pick, I'm going to go with, uh, has Isaiah Papaletti gone off the board yet? He uh, he's, about board yet. he's about to go. He's about to go. He is about to go. I'm going to pick him in the back row. Oh, boy. 
Enjoy it, Papa Lee. Jeez, you're looking good over there, Guru. He's, he's, he's looking pretty good in these drafts. He knows his stuff. All right, Ram guy, you're up. Easy. I better take a daily M center of the year here. Val Holmes, uh, third most meters from a center last year, uh, 69 line breaks in 56 games since joining the cows, which is a lot to say when you take out last season. Absolutely. Uh, Valentine Holmes, one of my favorite standards, man. He, you know, he's played all positions. He's won a premiership in the, uh, on the wing and uh, look, he's looking pretty good on the center of there as well. Okay. Where do I go now? So I, my fours are looking pretty decent here, to be completely honest with you. Um, or do I go into the front row again? Oh, there's still plenty of front rows here. There is still plenty of front rows. Um, I'm actually going to go and take uh, the fastest winger in the game, the fastest player that has ever played rugby league, the fastest player. I reckon he'd give Usain Bolt a run for his money. And I'm not talking about Alofiana Camperera this time. I'm talking about Josh Adokar here from the Doggies. So now I'm going to get all the Doggies fans voting for my team because of that. So uh, there we go. Josh Adokar is off the ranks. Clarky, you're up. All right. I feel like I'm uh, benefiting by always having the two picks. It gives me a little bit more flexibility. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go left field, inspired by the guru here, and play someone a little bit out of position, that being Matt Burton in the center. bastard. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, mate. Nicely done. Oh, yeah, I feel like where I can, I'll, I'll get a bit of versatility, like Joey Manu there as well in the centers. And then that sort of leaves me looking four or five eighth. Still I'm going to go Dylan eight, Brown. So. Oh, oh, don't do that. Oh, yeah, Just I'm going to go Dylan Brown. Bench. Just about to snap him up at bench. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go Dylan Brown and keep the Kiwis halves there together. I feel like that's a good combo. And then I've got the um, depth there of Joey Manu, Matt Burton, who can play a little bit there if required as well. Mm. Well, yeah, that's pretty good there. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, look, so we've got, uh, I'm just trying to think about what you guys are going to do next right now, because I've, I've got a position there that I can feel, but in the same sense, I'm pretty happy with multiple options there. Um, I'm going to, no, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to lie to you guys. I'm actually going to go back into the, uh, Back into the back row department, and I'm going to take up my boy as well. I'm going to take David from Feeder. I'm going to take David Feeder here. I think a, a partnership of David Feeder and Billy Ami kick out into that back row is something that we are going to realize by the end of this year is the best back row partnership in the business, son. Yes, sir. Uh, I know people are asleep on him, <laughs> Clarky, uh, but uh, no, look, David Feeder, he's, uh, he's the man. He's going to have a big year, especially with Kieran Foran there, and I've got Billy Ami kick out and Feeder in the back row. I cannot complain. All right, Ram Sats guy, you're up. Beautiful. I'm going to take Huddy Young in the second row. I'm going to have to use my uh, little sources. He was great uh, last year for the Canberra Raiders. Ma- massive amount of tackle bus. Um, beautiful in attack as well. So I'm just going to have to lock him up. I'm going to have to put some second rows in there. Yep, absolutely. All right, Gary, you're up for a double. Uh, I am going to take Angus Crichton in the back row. Mm-hmm. As my first pick, partner him up with Isaiah Papali'i. And then uh, I'm going to take my other center, really have my eyes on Matt Burton. So that wasn't sweet. Uh, and I'm going to go for Campbell Graham in the centers. Graham in the centers. All right. That's pretty good center pairing there. Latrell Mitt and Campbell Graham. You've got someone who's going big bang up front. And then you've also got Campbell Graham who's very good defensively. So uh, you've got a bit of mixture of both bolts there. Campbell Graham. All right. Stats guy, you're up. Uh, I'm going to take my last second rower, and it's going to be another South player. You may as well think that I'm a South fan at the moment. Keon Koloma Tangi into the second row. Keon Koloma Tangi. Nicely done. Is, yeah, that is very nicely done. Koloa Matangi. I'm trying to write this as fast as I possibly can, but his last name <laughs> definitely goes for uh, <laughs> definitely goes just, for a while just there. Keon, mate. Only one name, Keon. Yep, exactly right. As long as I can read it for when I'm editing this, that's the main thing. Um, but all right, so uh, up to me now. It is up to me. And I'm surprised that uh, the, uh, the guy that I left for the random stats guy, he still hasn't taken him. After all the talk in the uh, in the props by the tier maker, he still hasn't taken him. Um, but I'm actually going to put someone onto my bench here. I'm going to put someone onto my bench, and it's going to be Paddy Carrigan. Paddy Carrigan there, a uh, nice little young bloke coming through that Bronco system. Um, I absolutely love what he, he's doing there. I'm going to try to start putting some some guys onto my bench, and uh, Patrick Carrigan, get onto my team. Absolute monster, and uh, was incredible in his debut series for Queensland as well. Um, and then now we go to Clarky. I swear I'm not copying here, but I was between two ways there, either beefing up the bench a little bit or, or trying to name both my wingers, but I will go to the bench. I'm going to go two middle forwards for the bench, and I'm sort of going to go almost opposites here. I'm going to go Junior Barlow with one pick, 
a bit of size mm-hmm. there. Um, but then Ruben Cotter for my other pick, mixing that size, a um, little bit of ball playing in the middle was sort of just that pure athleticism and a big motor um, in Ruben Cotter to really come off the bench and, and bring that energy between those two. Yeah, I like it. All right, there we go. Jenna Polo and Ruben Cotter go off. Okay, where do I look now? My centers and wing is still looking pretty open right now. They are still looking pretty open. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to go with a bit of uh, best of both worlds here, uh, similar to what the guru just did with LaShawn Mitt and Campbell Graham. I've got Josh Hadakart, speedster, you know, high flyer, but I also want someone who can who can get up in the air and someone who's a bit beefy on the wing. And I'm going to take Micah Sivo here. I'm going to take the Toto Viti man, Micah Sivo for my other wing. I like Adoka and Sivo on both those sides. Like I said, best of both worlds. And my goodness me, when they're on, two of the best wingers in the game. All right, Ramstats guy, you're up. Easy. I'm going to take Guffo on as my number 14 on the bench here. I think uh, obviously brilliant try uh, in terms of try and line break involvements uh, for the Parramatta Reels and can make some meters, can kick a field goal too if we need it. Absolutely. All right, Guru, you got a double. Uh, I am going to complete my back line and I'm going to take uh, both of the Roosters wingers. I'll take Daniel Tupu and Suwali. I like that. So just, goes, my... just going straight into the Roosters' picks and just going slap up. Daniel Tupo and uh, Joey Suwali. Can't complain with that. All right, Joseph Suwali. Okay, uh, Ram guy, you're up again. Easy. I'm going to take uh, Adam Fanua Blake as my final front rower uh, before I lose every front rower that I picked. Uh, he I was, was literally basically about last to on the list. Yep. Basically last on my list because of you bloody kings. <laughs> I was literally, uh, literally about to to snag him up as well, um, but I'm pretty happy with with who's still left there. Um, okay, so centers. Gary's taken his centers. You've still got one center remaining for the Rando. So still, I'm pretty happy with how many centers are left on the board there. Um, I might continue to go to my bench. I might continue to go to my bench to be completely honest with you. And uh, oh my goodness me. Oh, that's right. Get rid of Keon Kalamatangi there. Um, who do I go into my 14 role as well? That's a good question. That's a very nice question. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take uh, a man who has just made a recent signing with another club, but is a back-to-back premiership winner and one of the most clutch men in the game, if not the most clutch man in the game right now. It is Stephen Crichton, and I'm going to chuck him into my centres. Um, I think that uh, we've obviously seen him do it for Samoa and uh, didn't necessarily get it going a, a great deal for, for New South Wales, but is still super young, still plenty of time there. And uh, Stephen Crichton comes into my team as the man who can... Get an intercept when he wants and get a field goal when he wants as well in the biggest of moments against England. All right, Clarky, you're up. It looks that everyone has their wingers set besides random stats guy. He's got one left and everyone has their back rowers set. So I'm not going to go for those picks. I'm going to keep them vacant. The roles I need to fill most is lock and my uh, utility. For utility, I can't see Jack White and he's still on the board, isn't he? Yeah, Jack White's still there. So I'll go Jack Whiten for my 14 because I mm-hmm. really think he's a player that can really play anywhere with the style that he plays. And then for Locke, probably every lock that I realistically would have loved is off the board. So I'll go someone between between Jake Travojevic and Victor Radley. I'll go Victor Radley. I think he can offer a little bit of ball playing because I do have Tarpany and James Fisher-Harris there, not really link man in the middle. Um, so if I have Victor Radley, you can play a little bit of a link role um, and maybe bridge the gap where others have Yo and, and Cameron Murray in their sides. So yep. yeah, I'll go Radley and White for my two picks. All right, Radley and White. Oh, so done. Yeah, that's pretty nice there. That's pretty nice. Gary still got his 14 spot, but I don't think he's going to take my 14, so I'm pretty okay with that one. Um, I've got to be careful. Got to be careful with the halfback, but I'm also, also okay with either of the halfbacks there, uh, Mr. Rando. I'm watching you there. I can see that you've still got that seven roll open. I can see. I'm, don't, don't think I'm sleeping on you. Um, all right. So I'm going to go back to my bench here again, and uh, I'm going to have to do it. I gave you enough time, sir. I gave you enough time to take him. All right. And I'm going to have to take the big Clem dog, the big David Clemmy here, which is uh, Rando's 
Favorite bloke. Um, I'm going to take David Clemmer, massive guy off the. I could actually chuck him into my starting lineup, to be completely honest, because I've still got a, a front rower spot available. But uh, no, man, bring him on. Absolutely crunch the scene. I thought he was fantastic for the Knights last year and is going to be fantastic for the Tigers. And now we get to hear Rando's thoughts. Easy. <laughs> um, pretty devastated that you took Clemmer there. Thought he'd be untouched the whole draft. But <laughs> I will take another sleeping giant, Toho Harris. From the Warriors, averaging uh, 36 tackles last season, 131 meters as well. 2020 season went; that was his last full season. Uh, 173 average meters and 42 average tackles. He needs to be back at that best for the Warriors. I reckon we can get there. He's only the fifth captain uh, in Warriors history since 2005 as well. So there's a little tidbit. Can someone tell Rando that there's a shot clock? My God. <laughs> He's got him. You got somewhere to be, mate. You got somewhere to be. <laughs> never, never. <laughs> All right, Taguri, you're up, mate. Uh, I'm going to start to fill my bench, and I think I've got two of the best bench players in the competition. I'm going to take Ryan Madison on my bench, mm-hmm. and I'm also going to take Brandon Smith as a middle forward. Oh, there you go. Jeez. Ryan Madison and Brandon Smith. Hey, are you putting Brandon Smith onto the bench, are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet. All right, just so I can confirm that. All right, uh, stats guy, you're up. Easy. Um, I'm going to take on the young gun, Isaac Tango, uh, into the centers for my liking. Thought he had a really breakout season last year. Obviously, first year at the moment. Hope he doesn't have a second year syndrome, but uh, he's my he's my only choice, really, for, for the center role. You guys have snapped up a few. Still uh, quite a few there, but no, I like it. I think he did have a bit of a breakout year last year. And we spoke about that in the centers team maker um, with uh, trademark sports. So no, looking forward to that coming out, but no, absolutely. You know, he had a breakout year and you know, it's the Panthers. You can't go wrong with, uh, with anyone there from the Panthers. Okay. So where do I have to look at now? Um, okay. Well, he's taking his centers now. So I don't really have to look at centers because it'd be a bit silly if you guys started going towards that area. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to, Oh, no, I'm not going to go there just yet. I'm not going to go there. Oh, you know what? I will. I'm going to take Adam Reynolds off the board here. I'm going to take Adam Reynolds. He's been one of the best in the game for a very long time now. I know that, uh, you know, Broncos fans, that, that'll that kind of get me in the good books with you there. Um, and uh, look, I, I love Adam Reynolds as a player. I know he's obviously not his younger self anymore, but my goodness me, can he play? He's uh, really helping Broncos when fit and healthy. He is one of the best men on the field there. Munster, Reynolds, get into my base. I love it. All right, uh, Clarky, you're up next. I've waited long enough. I've finally got to go to my back rowers. And I, I'm genuinely surprised these two are still here. I'm going to go Jeremiah Nanai and Liam Martin. Mixing sort of, you know, your consistent battler um, that'll go for 80 minutes with what we saw in the World Cup with Liam Martin. Um, and then someone like Jeremiah Nanai, who scored, I, I think, the most tries ever of a back row in a season. Maybe only for yes, Feeder or uh, Steve Menzies could rival it. Stevie Menzies. Yeah. yeah. Would have had so he got 17, but I think Nano beat that by like two or three last year. Stats guys here. He'll know. He'll know. <laughs> I think Steve had like 22 and 95. He, he was having a fucking yeah. unreal season off twos. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to pick Nanai now. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've already written I'll it down. With, <laughs> I'll keep with Nanai and uh, Liam Martin for my back rowers. All right. All right. Okay. So... Um, you know what? I'm going to go into my 14 role here. I'm going to go into my 14 because look, I really, like, I really do want to take my boy, the brim dog millionaire, but unfortunately I can't do it because there is a guy who is moving to the six this year, uh, with the Newcastle Knights is an absolutely unbelievable fullback and is just one of the best players in the game when he's on, you know, uh, unfortunately the Knights, it hasn't been necessarily a great place for him at the moment, but, uh, Caelan Ponga in that 14 role, bring him on. I think that is an absolute slap up and can play in the halves and can play in that fullback as well. So, um, uh, yeah, Caelan Ponga get into my team in the 14. All right. Uh, Sats guy, you're up. Easy. I'm going to take uh, an Origin winner and a World Cup winner in the same year. DCE, uh, I'm going to snap him up at halfback. Uh, obviously, you boys took took some of the best ones there, but DCE, still, he still got it. Top 10 in tries this last year. Uh, forced dropouts, 24 in just 21 games. Grand kicking game as well. Uh, I'm going to have to take him. Please take him. Awesome. And, uh, yep, you're, you're up now. Uh, I'm going to fill my 13 jersey. Is Jake Trevojevic on the board still? He is, right? Yep. Uh, yes, he is. Yeah, I'll take Jerbo in jersey 13. Uh, and then 
on my bench, I'm also going to take one that I'm surprised is still here. I'm going to take uh, Ola Kawato hmm. from the Manly okay. Circle. Just got me. Just pit me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only Ola Kawato. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Seth, guy, you're up. Uh, easy. Uh, I'm going to take uh, Raiders enforcer Josh Papali here, um, I think. You may as well have him off the bench, running some muck there. He's still got it, um, and I reckon he'll he'll be he'll be nice off the bench there. Yep, absolutely agreed. All right, I've still got a uh, a front row spot left here, so I'm going to go to the front row. I got front row. I got uh, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm going to go to my starting front row now, and I can obviously mix this up pretty well here with David Clemmer. And Paddy Garrigan, if I if I needed to as well. Now I am going to. I've already got a massive, massive enforcer in Nelson, in uh, in David. I'm also going to look at Nelson. You know what? I'm going to go with uh, Reen Campbell Gillard here. I'm going to go. I'm actually surprised he's he's still here as well. Uh, Reen Campbell Gillard is going to go alongside Tino into that front row uh, from the Padmata Squeals. All right, Clarky, you're up for two. I am going to lock up a coach. I feel like there's you're always going to get your four elite coaches, like we said before we started recording our Blaze, but I'm going to go Bellamy. Um, just get him there. I, I think for me, he's probably the, the greatest coach I've ever seen in my lifetime, at least. So I'll lock him up. And then for my 17, I'm, I'm looking one or two ways here. I'm, I'm either looking at Sean Lane um, with the season he had. Uh, but when you started me- mentioning Nelson there, you actually, uh, you know, I think you've got me hook, line, and sinker there. I'm I'm going to put Nelson Asafa Solomona there, but I'm going to sort of have him coming off on an edge roll. Um, you know, you can just imagine if Liam Martin or Nanai needs a blow and all of a sudden you've got Nelson on your edge uh, with crafty playmakers like Dylan Brown and Jerome Hughes, um, you know, running outside of him is Joey Manu, uh, Matt Burton, no matter which side you put him on. And he's just got that dangerous offload as well. So I think it's a, it really balances the team a little bit better um, not that Sean Lane doesn't have a great offload as well, though, to be absolutely fair. Yeah, Sean Lane was really getting that offload last year uh, going yeah. absolutely well. He, he, that was really kind of what he got going there. But yeah, Nelson's a fantastic pick there, man. And uh, the top 10 props that I that I had on my list are all gone. So, um, you know, we've, we've done a good job there. All right, so where do I go now? So I was going to, look, I was going to take Bellamy. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the other three that I've got there now. Bellamy was my clearing out. That was who I was deciding between him and uh, and, and going with uh, with my last player, um, which was Regan Campbell Gillard. Now, where do I look? I go into my centers where I finish off that 17. I've got Carrigan, I've got Clemmer, and oh, that's right, Liam Martin is already gone there. Oh, he might he's already gone. Um, actually, no, you know what? I will go back into my centers here and I am going to take someone who might not have had the best of years last year, but I know that this guy has the best fan in the game. I know that when he is playing at his absolute best, he is, for me, uh, well, definitely top three for me. And I had him in the top three, top two back in the 2021 team makers for this position. And it is actually going to be Katoni Staggs here for the Brisbane Broncos, which might be a little bit of left of field here. But, man, I love what, what Katoni does when he's playing, man. Uh, when he's when he's not injured, uh, man, he's incredible. And I think that him and uh, Staggs would, would do really well there in the centres. So we'll move now to the Rams Stats guy. Hey, mate, were you trying to convince us or yourself then? I love him. I do. I, I love I love Katoni Staggs. And I'm a tight fan. fan. <laughs> but I still love some of the plays we both the whole team. So there you go. There you go. Nice but fun. that that was Guru's fault there, by the way, for that that Broncos hate. It was uh, I don't know, I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, Sats guy, you're up. Of course, your longest pick was a Broncos player in the end, wasn't it? Um, just I trying to convince, convince yourself, I think. Guru said. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. Um, well, I'm going to take uh, your arm and arming around uh, Sean Lane Clarky. I'm going to take him. He had more try assists than um. And Jerome Hughes, the same amount as Jerome Luai, also top 10 in the offload sphere, had a breakout 2022, and he's going to have to be just that good in 2023. So he finishes my last bench spot. Uh, I'm going to take Trent Robinson off the board. I'll take him. Ah, that was who I was going to, yep. Coach, Robbo, and then I need a 14 and a front rower. Um, I'm... 14, I think I'm going to go for uh, Scott Drinkwater as my 14 to cover a few spots. I think there's some good 14s still left out there, though, just quietly. I don't know if you guys yeah. still know, but there's a few good options out there. Brimdog Millionaire, that's the one. That's the one you're thinking Ooh. of, isn't it, Guru? You're thinking about the Brimdog Millionaire. You are definitely thinking about the Brimdog Millionaire. 
I actually had a few first graders in mind. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. My God. Wow. <laughs> my God. That's it. We're moving away from him. You know what? Let's Cancel just the, the rugby league guru. Oh, Cancel the rip dog oh. millionaire on my channel gets slapped down. That is unbelievable. Oh. Uh, but let's move on now to the random, random stats guy. You've uh, got your next pick. Uh, quick shout out to a fan of the show, Brimo. Uh, sorry about her, old mate. Uh, also, don't get us mixed up. I know we're both called Nathan. That was the uh, guru talking. Um, I'm going to take Wayne Bennett. Uh, my side isn't as good as I thought it would be, but if there's anyone who could turn this around and hope that I do with the Dolphins, is uh, it's old Wayne. Yeah, no, I like it. I like the rebuilding it. Uh, phase. The rando SOS. <laughs> SOS Wayne Bennett. Don't worry, the Dolphins have done that and hasn't necessarily gone to plan either. Um, but uh, <laughs> let's go now. So I've still got uh, my 17 and also, geez, Clarky, you didn't go wing. You've got wingers real late here. you got you got no wingers here, Clarky. Well, at I least everyone's I oh, know random stats guy still has a winger and, and I was hoping the whole time he was picking, he didn't take the guy I've got in mind. Um, but yeah, I left maybe, him there. Maybe I should just take a wing for, for the sake of it. Um, but I'm, not, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to. Um, look, obviously, I'm not going to take a coach now. You guys have already taken yours. So who will I go into my 17? I'm probably going to go into, you know what? A real tough guy coming off the uh, coming off the back fence here. A guy that, uh, oh, no, but I could look at the front row as well to be completely honest. No, you know what? I'm actually going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go a hard man here in Johnny Bateman. I'm going to take Johnny Bateman here coming over from the uh, from the Super League. I think that he's uh, people have been sleeping on how good this man actually was when he was here. Uh, Johnny Bateman is a, a, an absolute monster. And, you know, he does it for England. And um, he, he's just absolutely phenomenal. So, yeah, I'll take Johnny Bateman there off the bench, partner him up with Paddy Carrigan, David Clemmer, and uh, Caelan Ponga, who's a little bit of an outlier there. But, uh, look, I like that bench. All right, um, we go to Clarkie now for your final two picks. First wing spot, I'm I'm just triple checking he hasn't been selected here. Alex Johnston still available? Still available. I'll take AJ, an incredible finisher. Um, and on on a back line like that, that's all he'd really need to do. Anything else would be a bonus. And then for my other wing, I, I had a look around at the sort of wingers that were left for me. Um, you know, there's some young guns, Taolangi, um, you've got Cobo, Mulatalo. Um, but in the end, I, I, I my eyes uh, went slightly to the left where centers are. And I'm going to go with Campbell Graham, who played there on the uh, wing. Campbell Graham's going to take him already been, I think he's already been taken. That's heartbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely be, heartbreaking. He in by about 40 minutes, so you won't fall yeah, off. He was yeah. in like, the first, like three or four rounds. <laughs> okay, I, I was still sleeping. Yeah. All right, that, that's um, right, I'm definitely back to the drawing board now. Still a lot of quality wingers. Um, some of the ones well, I you mentioned Well, you mentioned before. three good wingers just then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Of those, I'd probably prefer Herbie I Farmer for an option. Pereira. I love Fiona Khan Pereira for sure. Dan Gagai an option. Philip Sammy. No, I've taken up too much time. I'll go Ronaldo Mulatalo. Again, a consistent finisher who's played outside of someone like CSC for Talakai. Um, again, him and AJ, incredible finishes. And when you look at a stack side like this, that's all they really need to do. And and I just get the feeling that anything else, which they will undoubtedly provide, um, is a massive bonus on top. All right. So Clark, he goes with Jojo for feeder there. All right. So I go to uh, I, <laughs> I go to my coach now. And uh, look, I'm going to have to go with the back-to-back winning premiership currently. You know, he's currently on back-to-back premierships and he's going to be Ivan Cleary, who is getting the job done. Like, obviously, look, um, there's some great coaches in the game. Trent Rubbo is you know, absolutely phenomenal. And especially he's so young as well. Um, you've got Craig Bellamy and, and Wayne Bennett, who look, they they might be getting to the end of their career, but my goodness me, have they had a very successful career? But I haven't clearly, look at him go. I'm convincing myself about the back-to-back buddy premiership winner. Unbelievable. Uh, but now we go to the Ram Sats guy for your final pick in the wing. And I think Ronaldo Montella was one you were looking at because I saw your face just then. wasn't pretty happy. Yeah, that was uh, actually pretty devastating that you went Campbell Graham there, Clarkie, and Guru had to step in because I was really hoping you'd steer <laughs> the hell away um, from Ronaldo uh, Mulatalo. Um, just got to think, I just had the winger in mind and he's just escaped my grasp. Philip uh, Salmon. 
Yeah, that, that, that was the one um, for my reserve grade team who will be training oh early on today. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, lads. Don't worry. We'll teach these guys a lesson this year. We will teach these guys a lesson. Don't you worry. Go on. The mighty Burley Bears. Go, you Bears. That's it, mate. Uh, I'm going to put Will Penasini on the wing. I thought he had a really breakout season for the Parramatta Reels. Uh, and, yes, he's not in his uh, preferred center position, but I think uh, on the outside there with the uh, – uh, probably coming around that right side with Teddy probably running the show. Um, I think he's going to score a few meaties and uh, save a few tries. Right, you I was kind of hoping you'd that. select Selwyn Cobbo so I could insert a does he rate the coach joke, but <laughs> yeah, I'm, still gonna, I'm still just going to slot it in there. I well, feel like got you know, there anyway. I've, I've got a small window to get that one in. So. Well, we can cut this and we can and you can copy that in. <laughs> yeah, 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 sounds good. <laughs> That'll make for a great little clip. <laughs> All right, Guru, you, uh, you are up for the final spot and you've got the front row. Yeah, front row. I've got a few options here. Looked at like JWH, uh, Luke Thompson, but uh, one guy that I remembered that uh, he's been injured for the last year, so I think we've sort of forgotten about how good he is, but Christian Welsh will be my last pick, mate, in the front row. You know, it's funny. When I was looking at uh, for that 17, it was uh, I was actually looking at Jai Arrow, and then I also saw Christian Welsh. And because I saw Christian Welsh, it was actually also why I went for John Bateman, so I was all over the shop. Um, but no, Christian Welsh, man, he's absolutely been slept on, um, considering that he was out for most of last year, and uh, I think, yeah, we, we, we were speaking about this in, in our team, maker, Rando, just how good this guy is. So, no, fantastic pick there. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are done on Runo. We have uh, smacked up our teams and good to go. So I think we go through uh, one to 17 plus a coach and, uh, you know, kind of give a bit of a rundown about each team. So, Guru, do you want to take the take the reins? Yeah, mate, very happily. Uh, I think you're all in a little bit of curry here, just quietly. I think the undefeated streak continues here. I've got uh, Turbo <laughs> at fullback. I've got my two roosters on the wings, Daniel Tupu and Suwali'i. My centers, Latrell Mitchell and Campbell Graham. My halves, uh, Nathan Cleary and Nico Hines at six. Uh, my front row, Christian Welsh, Jason Tamalolo with Ben Hunt at nine. My back row, Angus Crichton, Isaiah Papali'i with Jake Travojevic locking the scrum in the thirteen. My super sub in the 14, Scotty Drinkwater. And then my bench, Ryan Madison, Brandon Smith, and Ola Kawatu from the Manly Seagulls. Absolutely. That is a pretty phenomenal team there, man. I love that back line. I, I, I love that back line of, of Tommy T. And, uh, you know, that's if he's on the field, obviously, you know. So um, it's great to have him there. We just pray to God that he's actually playing because, man, he is the best, well, one of the two best fullbacks in the game when he's fit and healthy. Um, and then, obviously, Trent Robbo is your coach. All right, Rando, you are, uh, you're up next. Uh, yeah, at starting at full back, I've got the most consistent and like most unlikely to get injured out of the two fullbacks, James Tedesco. Uh, the two wingers, um, I've uh, the two wingers I've chucked. I'm so in sorry, here. Tommy. I've got, um, I'm so sorry, Brian, Tommy. Man. Uh, Toto. Yeah. Oh, so sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just breaking up there. It's my, it's my terrible internet over here. Um, <laughs> two wingers I've got here. I've got Brian Toto, and just remind me who. I know it was my last pick, but who was my last winger that I just picked? Will Pennacini. Will Pennacini. Selwyn Cobbo. <laughs> I can understand that's, why you forgot it, mate. That's real confident in your own sorry. team. That's real confident in your own team that you forgot your own player. Man, he's <laughs> going to come out and make a podcast about you now and say that he doesn't believe in you as a coach. <laughs> He's like Perth over there. No, no worries. I'll just sack him. <laughs> um, we got centers. Isaac Tungo, one of the most up and comers uh, with the Daily M Centre. Oh, geez. I'm losing it. I'm losing it just at the death. I th Mate, think, you uh, Blaze, you're don't best worry. going through my team because I am running out of gas here on my internet. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry, bro. I'll, I'll go. I'll go through your team here. So the rando, obviously, yeah, James Desco in that fullback role with Brian Toto and Will Panasini on the wings there. Val Holmes and Isaac Tungo in the centres. Um, you got a cowboy and Panther, Bing Bang, right in your face. Cody Walker in the six. How good's that? Uh, with Daly Cherry Evans, a very experienced halves pairing there uh, in the seven. Payne Haas and Adam Fenor Blake, two massive monsters up front with Damian Cook, who uh, you know he's done it all, man. He's done it all and just continues to absolutely dominate the game in the number nine role. Uh, Hudson Young, Keon Kolomatangi is the back row. A nice couple of little youngsters there. And then Cameron Murray, my goodness me, he's uh, only the backup to Isaiah Yo there, uh, who might be on another team. I uh, just want to throw that one out there. Uh, but Cameron Murray, absolutely fantastic player. Uh, on the bench, Clint Gutho, unbelievable. Tom Harris, Josh Papali'i and Sean Lane, 
with Wayne Bennett as the coach. Now, I know you're going to respond to this in about three hours' time, but, uh, you know, you must be pretty happy with that team. He's still listening to his fullback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> It's so sorry, I, sorry. I was just on the I was just on the phone to Will Penasini just then. <laughs> yeah. It's so bad. It's so bad. Welcome to welcome to my life on hotspot. Mate, I'm in Fiji and my internet's better than yours. Like I'm in, <laughs> I'm in Fiji. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that was uh that was the rando. That was his that was his team. And uh look at him going, Wayne Bennett, he's uh he's uh, rocking and rolling. All right, let's move on to my team now. Uh the best team in the Business and we've got the little mother man, little puppy, little mother man, little puppy, little mother man, little puppy, Ryan Puppenhausen as the fullback. You know, scored four tries when he wants to in a space of like six, seven, buddy, 10 minutes. He's incredible, fantastic, pacey, Melbourne Storm. Thanks for coming. Uh, on the wings, best of both worlds, Josh Adokar, fastest guy in the game, plus also Mike Asivo, who, if he's running at you, you're running the opposite direction. You are not running at Mike Asivo. So a bit of best of both worlds there. And Sivo goes right up in the air as well. We go into the centers now. Stephen Crichton and Katoni Staggs. Katoni Staggs on his day when he's not injured is honestly, um, for me, t- top two, top three uh, of plays in the game. And Stephen Crichton, look how good he is. All the Dogs fans, you love my team. We've got Adokar, Crichton. There's no way they don't vote for my team with that pairing. Um, then you go to the halves. We've got Cameron Munster, Best six in the game, arguably. You can make another one for our best player in the game too. But Cameron Munster partnering Adam Reynolds of the Brisbane Broncos. Love that experience. Uh, then we go to the front row forwards here. My boy, Tino Fasul Malawi. Unbelievable with Regan Campbell-Gillard. And then Api Kotosau, the new Tigers man, into that number nine role. Um, you know, leader for Fiji. Um, knocking on the door of New South Wales even as well, even though Damien Cook's there. And uh, just, we all love Api Kotosau. Back row, Viliami Kikau, David Vita. The more I look at that, the more I absolutely love it. You know, take away maybe last year. You look at these two players overall. My goodness me, how good have they been when they've been playing and when they're hot? You don't want to come up against Billy Amikikau and David Fita. And then also one of the best players in the game, Isaiah Yo in that lock. Australian lock, New South Wales lock, Panthers lock, bang, bang, in your face. Caleb Ponga, number 14, can play in the halves. Also the fullback, Paddy Carrigan, David Clemmer, John Bateman. That's a massive four-pack off the bench and the back-to-back premiership winning coach in Ivan Cleary. Uh, there you go. Uh, don't, don't mind. Don't mind it. Don't mind it. Clarky, you're up. While you were talking then, I was exploring the uh, background options for Zoom and I was going to put my pyramid as you were given, Dave Feeder a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> you muppet. You really Just are. Just to be a little bit cheeky. Uh, but my 1-17 to 17 is Dylan Edwards, Alex Johnston, Joseph Manu, Matt Burton, Ronaldo Mulatalo, Dylan Brown, Jerome Hughes, Joseph Tarpany, Harry Grant, James Fisher-Harris, Liam Martin, Jeremiah Nanai, Victor Radley, Jack Whiten, Junior Barlow, Ruben Cotter, Nelson Arsoffa Solomona, and my coach is Craig Bellamy. Try to go for a, a balanced um, sort of lineup with a little bit of versatility through it and players that are able to uh, jump into multiple positions um, just in case it's required. Yeah, no, I love it. I love it. All right, so just before we jump off here, guys, we're going to get the vote from each of the coaches here to see, besides their team, who they think is the best outside of their team. So, uh, we're going to go in reverse order here. Clarky, outside of your team, who do you think drafted the best here today? I'm going to say, I'm going to go with Rugby League Guru just because a lot of the picks that I, maybe it's biased, but a lot of the picks that I was thinking he ended up taking off the board. So I think naturally I'm more inclined to sort of uh, favor his team there for that reason. Uh, but also the makeup of sort of having Latrell and Joseph Suwalit, you on an edge together. Um, and then I also like that a few genuine superstars are sort of a little bit out of position, um, but it, it's not it's not a position that, you know, Nico Hines would still flourish at six. Tamalolo essentially does play eight. We know how good uh, good Ben Hunt is at nine. So I'll go rugby league guru uh, for those reasons. Okay. So outside of your own and also guru, who do you think has the best team uh, that we have here? Outside of the other two? Yeah, outside of you and guru, who do you think has the best team? Just wants to hear his own name, mate. Um, okay, no, no. Outside of Clarky, Guru, and the Ram Stats guy, who do you think has the best team here? I'm um, just having a look around the board. Oh, yeah, it's really hard, isn't it? Yeah, it's really, really hard. It's difficult. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm not too sure how to answer that one. Sorry. No, you're all good. All right. So uh, for me now, I will uh, jump on and see who I think has the best in the business. And, uh, 
Look, it's it's gonna big him up. He's gonna big him up because he knows I'm gonna vote for him. He knows he's gonna I'm gonna vote for him with his buddy Tommy Chaboyevich and Latrell Mitchell, which is what I was considering before, buddy. He went slap slap with that one um, straight away, but I couldn't say no to Cameron Munster there. Um, and uh, and it's I yo. Uh, but yeah, look, I, I I like the team. I think that. that I do think that there are better benches. I think that there are better benches that everyone else has, um, others have selected. But I do think that overall his team is probably, uh, as in the guru, his back line is probably the best of the lot for me. Um, and I think the majority of the front row as well is, is fantastic. I just think, yeah, maybe the bench is the, the differing factor between a couple. Um, but uh, overall, yes, I would, uh, I would go the, the guru if it wasn't for my own. But obviously we all know. Uh, we've got to select the select BK Sport here. Uh, but we got the random stats guy who will get to us in about 14 hours, uh, but he will get to us. And that's the main thing. Um, just got to wait. Just got to be patient. But what's your thoughts, man? No. Yeah, we can't hear you. <laughs> Beautiful. Love that for me. Wait, can you hear me? You now you're on. Now um, you're on. I'm, I'm muted my mic. Sorry. Um, yeah, it really does pain me to, to, to give this one to the guru. He doesn't, he's the last person here who needs his tires pumped up, but I'll, I'll do it for him. I thought it, the moment he, uh, used a bit of versatility with his team, I got absolutely thrown. Obviously, um, we had that Raiders draft, but other than that, um, with like a decent amount of players and just using them in different positions, he definitely has the, uh, the team that could, uh, probably win the premiership and the premiership 10 times over if they played our other three teams, uh, second up Clarky, third up me. And then, yeah, uh, of course it's coming. I knew it was coming. Uh, I knew it was coming. Oh, no, <laughs> no, no, sorry. The Titans, then you, yep. Sweet. Be sweet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. The team that came fourth last year is still better than the team that I just selected. That's, uh, that's unbelievable. Thanks for that. Now, uh, Guru, obviously you've had your tires pumped up. Now you have to select a team that's not yours. Uh, whose team do you select and why is it mine? Uh, mate, I have gone for a Titans fan, unfortunately, <laughs> not yours. Uh, and maybe it's recently biased, but the last thing I remember hearing is Clarky's bench, and it was uh, it was unbelievable. It was like a four fridges with eyes coming at me. So uh, I'm going with Clarky's side. <laughs> Uh, and then I'd probably go Randos, followed yeah, by yeah, yours, unfortunately, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. Yeah, yeah. This is just the pick on BK Sports time. This is it's just the, uh, you know, not only do I have to go to every single game of my team and watch us lose half the time, but now, now, now I'm just a muppet. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> but guys, it's been a fun time here. I appreciate everyone for uh, for jumping on. Um, obviously, go and check everyone's socials out in the description. Uh, let us know in the comment section what your thoughts are and whose team you think is best. Um, obviously, um, don't laugh too hard at people if they've made a really, really silly error. Um, it is all just our perspective. It's all a bit of fun overall. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys as usual. Uh, we've got team makers that have been coming out. Uh, plus, we've got streams. We've got heaps of stuff, vlogs as well. Uh, so yeah, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe when you're around here and I will see you guys next time. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. See ya.